Good afternoon and welcome to Dragonflies Antiques, new antiques blog. This week I'm going to be talking about things we get from the dump. And everything here are things that we got from the dump. However, I'm going to tell you what I see. So let's start over here. We have a turkey platter that was probably made in a ceramics class. It probably would sell for about $20 or $25. This is a nice Japanese tea set. It's mid 20th century. It comes with a teapot, coffee, um, a sugar and creamer in a teapot, and these nifty plates uh, for sandwiches or desserts in these cups. I would think that, that would probably sell for about $40 or $50. These nice uh, Santa Claus, Santa Claus, snowman plates, a little out of date because we're heading towards spring, but the lobster uh, plate is on tin, nice, um, probably $20 or $30 worth, nice big early tin in the back, uh, very industrial design, have a carafe, I thought I'd give to one of my boys, this nice soap dispenser. Now, those just look like mad libs to most people, something we've had for the last 10 or 20 years. But if you look at it close, I picked these up because it's ephemera. That is the original number one mad libs, and therefore will be worth more than all the others. It's a nifty little night light that I picked up because it matches my bathroom, probably $20 worth. Um, this pie plate I thought was nifty because it had the cover, that's always a problem when you're down to one or two people in your household. Some nifty costume jewelry and I especially liked um, the watch box. These are um, pattern early American pattern glass plates. They have a lovely pattern on them. Um, we pick this up because it's very mid 20th century. We'll certainly be able to find glasses or something trick to put into that. Uh, French Campaire. Um, remember this came out of the dump. This is this is nice, uh, nice early stuff. I couldn't quite understand why the all was in there. Like, don't the people wash their clothes or use deodorant? This looks kind of vintage to me. I thought I'd look into that. A little Girl Scouts thing. We pick up these vintage bags. Just, I mean, not vintage bags, but cute little bag so we can give them away in the summer when people buy things from us. That could be yours. A little baked bean pot, a mini of anything is always good. This is a beautiful uh, Victorian lamp. It's got all this fringe on it. It's got a few broken panels that could probably be repaired. Um, the glass is tucked in the inside, but um, I thought that was really special. So all of these things represent two days at the dump plus this over here. Here we have five fur coats. People don't believe me when I say these came out of our dump this week. We have a mink. We have a lamb's wool coat. Uh, I think that might also be a mink in the middle but it's very matted down. A chinchilla and another black lamb's wool with a mink collar. These, I thought, were the cat's meow. <laughs> Aren't they funny? Nice belt. I'm going to keep that. Large Jordan Marsh vintage flannel shirt. My son might like that. This is a polo bag we got. Um, clean, never been used. Nice case in the back. I picked up these valances because they used to be mine a, a million years ago, um, prior to 2007 when we had the fire. I had curtains in the house and those were the valances. And I don't know how they got separated from the curtains, but I recognized them right away. Nifty bra. Could have fun with that. That's a, a very cool vintage uh, tablecloth for a card table size. Uh, kind of a cute skirt. Good for layering. Jeans are the newest thing that we're doing. We've been collecting them for six months to a year now and we're going to do a big exhibit at um, Brimfield. I don't, uh, it, they're mostly just blue jeans that we've collected so far but I had to, I had to get those leaves. They were brand new, never used. 
And then the best thing I think I found today were these three L.L. Bean beautiful snowflake sweaters. Um, they're all women's extra large. I just thought they were sweet as could be. They're all a little bit big for me. I think they're probably like a size 20 or 2X large. But there it is. Like what a haul. Two days, two mornings, about a half an hour each at the dump. Now, the question is this. All these things are supposed to be for people in need. But I want someone to tell me who needs those shorts those shoes. If you can come up with a good reason, I'll give them to you. Adios.